So I'm a lucky girl, like a really lucky girl because I have really good friends and I have been lucky enough to have really good friends my entire life. I don't have the pieces of I didn't really have a plan when I started this project. I just knew what color Ellen wanted. Sometimes when I don't have a plan, the easiest thing for me to do is to start with a base coat of white and that helps me really see the piece. You know when you have that one friend who isn't just a friend, but, but that friend is family? That's my friend Ellen. Ellen and I met 31 years ago at Indiana University on bid night for our sorority. Well, hello, random spot that I have no idea what that is. A little shellac to the rescue. We were roommates in college. We lived together after college. Um, I moved away and we continued to stay in touch. I would visit Indiana, she would visit New York. I was in her wedding, she was in my wedding. We were pregnant with our very first children at the same exact time. We would do family meetups. We'd pick a place and meet up and our families would spend long weekends together. And we've just always cultivated our friendship and continued to stay in each other's lives. I knew I wanted this piece to be green, so I picked three colors that were relatively in the same family. Apothecary, mint chip, and farm fresh. So I had a light, a medium, and a darker color. You'll notice I use the same brush for everything and I did not wash it in between colors. I wanted a little bit more color variation, so I decided to add some skeleton key and I'm using my color shaper to do that. You totally could skip this step really and I think you'll get the same end result. To purchase any of the DIY paint products I am using in this video, please visit my website, junkeduphome.com. The link is in the description box below. So Ellen inherited this ginormous roll top desk. So we were moving it and it was falling apart. And she looked at me and I looked at her and we both decided, this really, it's not worth it. It's not worth it for me to glue this whole thing back together. It was really big. So as we were banging it all apart to dispose of it, we realized that this one section with the drawers could totally be saved. Ellen and I decided that we needed it to be a little bit more green. So a little gypsy green to the rescue. I just thinned it out and continually moved a gypsy green around using my dusty brush and water. Never let you go again. Reach out when your mind's uneasy cause I'll understand. Hold on when you need a friend I'll say Don't hang your head, we'll take it step by 
because I painted the piece with the drawers in, it's really important to go back and do the finishing touches, which is painting the lips of the drawers and the inside of the boxes. All it needed was a little spark. Give me my heart back, somebody stole it and put it in your head. So the nice thing is, is that Ellen has a piece of furniture painted by me, but she gets to keep a family heirloom that we've updated and made useful again. Because I'm using a transfer, and especially since I gave my piece an all over light sanding, it's really important to seal that paint up first before applying that transfer. I cut my transfer into pieces so that it would better fit my piece of furniture. Don't skip this step. Go back and burnish your transfer. I use a clean sock. It really helps that transfer adhere. So I just feel really honored that I was trusted with a family heirloom and I could use my skills to bring it back to life and give her a piece of usable furniture. And lastly, I finished the entire piece with a coat of clear wax. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below for the DIY A Go Go channel. And hop on over to my YouTube channel, Junked Up, and hit the subscribe button over there too. And don't forget to turn on notifications for both so you'll know every time that there's a new video. All it needed was a little spark. Give me my heart back, somebody stole it and put it in your head. Thanks so much for watching, and I will catch you guys next time on DIY A Go Go. Bye.